they would like to have it not completely repealed, but to continue to use the Measure 110 money to get people into treatment. A committee led by the Senate Majority Leader Kate Lieber released a framework for revising the controversial Measure 110. That includes changing the consequences for being caught with a user amount of any drug, which is currently a Class E violation, which could lead to a $100 ticket at most. The new proposal would change that to a Class C misdemeanor, which carries up to 30 days in jail and a $1,250 fine. I get people saying to me, repeal the whole thing, go back to what we had before. That's not going to happen. And I got folks contact me, don't do anything to it. It hasn't had time to work yet. Treatment takes a long time to show the benefits. That's not going to happen. With the legislative session starting February 5th, Republicans say they're going to release their plan to revise Measure 110 this week. Representative Kim Wallen would like to see the penalty for possession changed to a Class A misdemeanor. The failure of it to get people motivated to get into treatment, it just hasn't been there. In that first year, I think eight people called the hotline from Jackson County. So it just doesn't, it's not working. So we have to have some teeth. Senator Jeff Golden agrees there needs to be stronger incentives to start treatment, which includes making treatment more available, but he wants to make sure the goal is getting people into treatment rather than criminalization. My concern is repeating the mistake of the war on drugs for 30, 40 years, where a violation like personal possession would go on somebody's record, that person would have trouble for the rest of his life getting decent employment, decent housing, Golden says he agrees with his fellow Democrats' proposal to allow anyone charged with possession to avoid the charge if they complete a behavioral health screening and caseworker intervention. Wallen says both parties will be working together throughout the upcoming session to revise the measure. There is a lot of common ground. There really is. But there are pieces that we don't agree with. One thing I would say that I strongly disagree with is the idea of what's called harms reduction.